Welcome back. I'm playing Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector, and we'll get started on our next video here as we're working our way through my multiplayer tips and unit recommendations. I'm working my way through every faction and every unit in the game. We're currently working on the orcs, and the next unit we're going to discuss today are the knobs. But first, if you're enjoying these videos, please give my channel a like and subscribe to encourage me to post more content for you. So the knobs, these guys have kind of changed a lot since the game was first released. Uh, when it was first released, these guys were pretty expensive for what they could do, and a lot of people did not use them on the multiplayer matches. Uh, now they are regularly used, I would say, especially if you're playing a larger uh, cost um, match, or if you're doing Exterminatus. They can definitely do a lot of good things for you. Originally, because they don't have a lot of armor, they're acting as bullet sponges with their uh, standard kit. But since you can start getting some major buffs to these guys, they rapidly become more viable for you. So, they cost 110 points for the default kit. Each model here, and there's five of them as you can see, has 110 health. They have one action point, four movement, three armor, and five evasion. So they always have a slugger, no matter what kit you use. The slugger is not a good weapon at all, so you really don't want to be using this unless you have really no uh, other options. Now the one nice thing is it is a pistol, so if you get charged by a low tier unit, they will get some reaction fire um, so they can at least protect themselves a little bit and try to, if you get some incredibly lucky shots, maybe even suppress somebody. But I certainly wouldn't bank on that with a slugger since it has four attacks, uh, three to five base damage with an armor piercing of one that armor piercing of one is what really limits the ability here uh, it has an optimal range of one it has a base accuracy of 90 and it rapidly falls off at 15 accuracy per tile so for their 110 points their standard kit is the choppa that's the same as the choppa that the uh, storm boys have i think oh that's not actually true that is a lie because uh, that has two attacks 10 to 14 and this one has two attacks 12 to 16 so it is in fact a little bit better uh, they do slightly more damage um, it has an armor piercing of four and it has a base accuracy of 90 percent so these guys typically will hit pretty regularly although i do find that it seems like at least one of them is going to miss their attack not infrequently which can be exceptionally frustrating on these guys especially when you're investing a lot of points in their more expensive kits unless you use their ability but we'll get into that for a second in a second i should say so if you want to spend 15 additional points you can now get them the uh, big choppa and that gives you two attacks and it is uh, slightly more damage. It does 13 to 18 versus 12 to 16, and the armor piercing goes up to 5. Now, I'm not sure why there's such a big cost gap or a cost difference between the two of them, because you get you know a little more armor piercing, um, a little slightly more damage, but if you just spend five additional points, you now get them the power claw, which is a vastly superior. Um, weapon here. Now if you do get that missed attack like I was referencing earlier then one of these units is gonna you know really cut their attacks off whereas here you still have the two attacks uh, but for the one attack assuming it does hit it now does 33 to 45 damage it does it gains a little splash damage of 69 but then again these guys you have five attacks going there so that splash is you know 30 to 45 damage to something and it has its armor piercing goes up slightly again uh, by one point so now it's up to six and it regain it retains its melee accuracy of 90 percent so this can definitely be how you, so pretty much these guys can still do damage at the standard kit but and you can use them mostly as a bullet sponge hold things down into melee and they're going to take hits you give them the big chopper they do slightly more damage but again for 15 extra points i don't know if it really makes sense if you're going to invest in getting these guys better equipment i think it's best just to go right up to the power claw assuming you have the points for it because this will dramatically increase their viability it lets them attack tanks it lets some uh snipe heroes um it, if they're fighting lower tier infantry it even lets them splash and help chop through those guys even faster now they do have two abilities the first one is passive it's mob rule so if they're close to four other units with mob rule then you can get up to 40 percent momentum gains which will allow you to get these guys uh 
to be able to surge or empower abilities even faster and do even more damage. And then their active ability, which you need to uh, click to activate, is the hit them harder. And what it does is it gives you plus 10 melee accuracy. It increases their damage by 25%, but in exchange they have to take 5% increased melee damage. But it's only 5%, so it's not even like it's that much damage for the buffs here. And then what you need to do... If you're going to be bringing a bunch of knobs with you, you probably want to bring some war bosses with you because you can then use the war boss ability, which will give you plus 10 melee accuracy and plus 15% damage. And this does stack depending on the amount of war bosses that you have. So at 1500 points, you can bring two of them. So now we're giving them plus 20% accuracy plus 30% melee damage, which means these guys are now going to be hitting for over 100% accuracy with 30% extra damage. And you can end up getting it all the way up to 55% extra melee damage if you use the hit a martyr ability as well and you can then buff them further with the pain boy by having them within two tiles here so then these guys that have 110 hit points per model you can now give each one of those an additional 15 percent with uh the dock is in so this is this was really a game changing uh, ability here given these guys that passive ability to really buff them further and then if you know you're going to be fighting um, units that have a lot of range you would want to bring a big mech as well so you can use the custom force field to uh, lower the range damage they receive by 10 percent uh, so that would be how you buff them and then if you your war, war bosses get killed you're having issues here you could then use the war path too uh, which gives 15 percent additional damage and lowers the damage received by 10 additional percent. Now the war path does have the uh, potential to bug out the war boss's watching ability which is what this is called when it's applied to other forces so you got to be very careful about that but the war path will always stack with the custom force field there's no issues there so that's potentially a 20 percent uh, additional damage resistance that these knobs can have against ranged weapons if you uh, were to stack those abilities here so for all these kind of stacks um, and if like I said you do an exterminatus mission usually what happens is they somebody will bring one of each one of these heroes and they'll just kind of move as one unit slightly forward and just keep killing everything and you're sitting there trying to snipe out the heroes uh, or the knobs if you have somebody that has a lot of splash damage and you have to whittle these guys down but it, it can definitely feel very bad being on the receiving end of that uh, death blob as is coming towards you here. So, because we're bringing out the war bosses, I'm going to do a pretty melee build. So we got the two war bosses here for those buffs, the pain boys to buff the health. Uh, we've got some storm boys to get them to be able to flank units, and also to stack up some momentum gains with the mob rule. And then I brought um, each of these uh, knobs out with their different kits. Now I'll take two with the power claws because. I think if you've been watching my other videos, you see that I'm definitely a big fan of the Power Claws now that all these things are working. So let's set up a match and see what we can do. It looks like we're doing Necrons. This force might actually be a little difficult with the Necrons because they're going to be able to resurrect on us. Definitely some Flamers would be helpful. It was made to fight, so let's fight! I won't see his coming! Alright, bring those guys around the side here. Ready Ready to force to force. I guess we're gonna put you up here. It's our time. Alright, let's see what we can do here. 
Coming this way will get them killed. That was weird. Not sure why it's kind of bugging out here. Ooh, I don't like that too much. What do we got here? Mortals with just standard kits. We out. I guess. I kind of hate to waste these guys' attacks here. Hmm. Let's attack with the rocket. And... We'll let you charge over here. And then hopefully... Oh, they didn't resurrect. I'll go ahead and attack there. Is he going to get up? Alright, he's getting up. This way, you can attack into those guys. Bring you around the back here. Guess you're going to shoot into those guys. You guys get to come up here. It's our time. This is the line. Oh, he's back up. All right, take the hit. There you go. All right, you can attack here. Try to weaken those guys down. Ready to force the ball. You can smoke these guys. Two are getting up. Fight, so let's fight. I guess you're going to shoot into these guys. And you are as well. This might be bad with all these dangerous guys here. Alright, move you down. You come over this way. We're gonna turn you this way. Actually, yeah, we'll do that. I think I might have overextended a little bit, unfortunately. If you say so. Well, let's see how badly they punish me here. I assume they're gonna attack my war bosses. storm boys hmm. I was actually expecting more damage I'm not gonna lie 
Smash them right in the gob. All right, they're down. They won't see I guess we'll coming. keep you here. Orcs always win, even when we don't. Eh, actually, let's give it a little time yet. You've got the big choppers. Of course, my knobs, which have all the good abilities. I was holding back. Now we'll use both hands. Are the ones that are taking all the damage here. Smack those guys. You can smoke here. It's our time. All right. Let's let you come up this way. He was on his back. Now we'll use both hands. Ready to force the boys. <laughs> Uh, you're still not getting kills here, my man. It's our time. Power claw. Ready to force the boys. It's our time. Oh, thank God, could stitch that way. Heal. If you say so. Pull you back. Get you up here. Smoke here. Pull you back. Get you up to here. Shouldn't have to give him the bonus damage. You should just get the kill. Well, I'm not super happy to bring you here because I think you're about to suffer some pretty heavy damage. But I also can't just stay back here and be passive. Ready to force the boys. Ready to saw bones. So let's move you up here. Come here. Cyborg legs ready to go. Orcs always win, even when we don't. All right, let you charge down here. Smoke those guys. You can smoke here. Fight, so let's fight. Well, yep. I think we should just keep you down here, and if they get attacked, you get attacked. Ready to go. Stop, boys is the best. All right, you can smoke these guys. And let's get you over this way. And you stay here, and you try to lock both of those lich guards down. I think that would be the best way to do that. Because I don't care if the storm boys die. Rocket packs ready to go. It's our time. Ready to force the boys. I am trying to get some of these knobs to get more momentum, though. Is that all you've got? Let's do a little bit of this. I do want to get you over there, but... I 
Alright, you just smoke here. Alright, they're down. I think let's just move you here. Smoke there. And you smoke here. Now you've weakened quite a bit of those guys. Let's get moving! Alright, and you've got 20 something, so we'll just attack here. Not sure why I'm losing so much momentum. I feel like I should be gaining momentum. It's our time! Cyborg legs, ready a gun. Alright, you tech here. Must be getting up. You can attack here. That's 29. You're up to 70. Smash him right in the bomb. All right, you guys are there. It's our time. Guys can come over that way, I guess. We was made to fight, so let's fight. I think I could stitch that back. Smash him right in the gun. Hey, you almost killed one. If you say so. We was made to fight, so let's fight. All right, you're going to just come over this way, I guess. Alright, so you've still got 70-something, but I can't get you anywhere. Let's try to weaken them a little bit. There you go. This should allow you to get to where I need you to be. Ready a sword bones. All right. Well, let's let you attack here. There we go. Now you can surge. 
So if we we're going to empower this, it would give you plus 15% accuracy, plus 40% melee damage, and it gives you a one turn cooldown. So that's how those guys work if they're empowered. Might as well just attack with you, huh? Oh, you can kill him. Get you up here. Rocket pack, ready to go. Here, anybody get up? Yep, these guys are getting up. Another one's the getting up. The gates. So famous. How's about I think he's a bit of bone? Go ahead and attack there. I think I can stitch that back. Start Let's moving you up. Alright. He's down. We was made to fight, so let's fight! This guy decides to run from me again. And again, I should have used the uh, rocket, I think, but we should still be able to get the kill. It's our time. All right, let's attack here. I was kind of hoping you were going to kill some guys. But he still survives. Yeah, nice big hits there. Alright. So that is the knob. So as you can see, I definitely am a much bigger fan of the power claw than I am with the regular choppas or the big choppas. Um, if you're going to use them just to body block and do damage, I mean, they still do damage with the choppas, but for five additional points, I think the um, power claw is just way outperforms the big choppa there, as you could probably see from the damage that I was doing against the different Necron units here. Uh, plus, the knobs have so much health, it just really makes them more viable. The Storm Boys, you know, are nice that they can move around all over the place, but you could see that they were just really having trouble attacking the Necrons, and that would have been pretty similar to the damage that the um, knobs would be doing as well if they had that standard kit. So, you know, you can always guarantee kills when you're getting using the uh, Power Claws, where it's much less... Um, viable with the weaker tiers, so especially when you start giving all the accuracy buffs and the attack damage buffs and everything else, I just think there's no comparison to a fully kitted out power or a fully kitted out knob squad. There now it does cost a lot of money. You know, you're talking about 130 points to bring them out, but I definitely felt like I got over 130 points worth of uh, value here. They were tanking shots with the pain boys. We were able to heal them up. They had the bonus HP continuously. You know, it just makes it a real big nightmare for enemy units to have to chop through them. Now, if the if I were to be playing Necrons against these guys, you know, I would have had, you know, the Locust Heavy Destroyers to snipe out the heroes. I would have uh, Living Lightning, so I could then be using that ability to cross and do a lot of damage to all the other knobs and other forces that would be close together and then if i was playing this competitively where i knew i was gonna be fighting the necrons i would have brought out some burner boys too because uh burners and flamers are definitely a good way to counter the necron warriors because it does a lot of damage to them assuming they don't have more heavily armored units out like the triarch uh, praetorians or the lich guard and it'll help you just clear a lot of the units and then you can have weaker units come in there and mop up the two that get resurrected and just keep moving and then using your power, more powerful forces to kill the units that you need to. So hopefully that was helpful for you. If you're enjoying these videos, please give my channel a like and subscribe. Encourage me to post more content for you. Have a great day.